I gotta say, this was a powerful start for the third season of The Mandalorian, and it's all thanks to this final scene with Bo-Katan. Let me explain. The episode starts with a child being christened into the Children of the Watch sect. We get a glance into the traditions set by these Mandalorians. We know Din Djarin is, well, was, a part of this ultra-Orthodox group. Bo-Katan bluntly explains this in Chapter 11, The Heiress. And you are a child of the Watch. Despite Din saving the day against the giant beast, he is rejected by those he cares about, simply for removing his helmet. But this episode shows us he's not the only one. We see Bo-Katan sit on a throne of an empty Mandalorian castle. As she explains, her forces melted away when she returned without the Darksaber. In the same scene, she believes the Children of the Watch gave up on Mandalore and splintered and fractured the entire Mandalorian race. Which is actually quite the hypocrisy, as she was a part of the Death Watch, which is a separatist Mandalorian group that attempted to take over Mandalore and lead Maul's rise to power. The beginning and ending scenes of this episode are a juxtaposition that showcases that the Mandalorians are shattered by their tradition, the Darksaber and helmet wearing being the prime examples. This sets up the season for Din to come to realization that his need for acceptance by his clan and the traditions held by his people are fundamentally keeping the Mandalorian ununited. So, perhaps by the end of the season, we could see the return of inhabiting Mandalore, the Mandalorians reunited as a whole, and Din no longer needing to hold traditions so close to heart. But what do you think of the episode? Let me know your thoughts and theories in the comments down below. And if you want more Star Wars shorts, check out this one appearing on the end screen now.